Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Good to see all of you again. <laughs> Lovely to have you here. Um, tonight, we again have Janet Rogalski leading us through the liturgy and giving us the Devar Torah. Should be interesting and different tonight. Hooray. Somewhat. Yeah. <laughs> so let's begin our liturgy with Shalom Alechem on page 142. I'd like to invite Elaine and Joe Jacoby to kindle the Shabbat candles. O oh, source of light and truth, creator of the eternal law of goodness, help us to find knowledge by which to live. Lead us to take the words we shall speak into our hearts and our lives. Bless all who enter this sanctuary in need, all who bring the offerings of their hearts. May our worship lead us to acts of kindness, peace, and love. Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kitchanu B'mitzvotav, Vitzivanu, Lahadli Kner Shel Shabbat. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to kindle the light of Shabbat. On page 138, you'll find Lachad Odi. Lachad Odi, Lachad Kalah, 
Find the Hatsi Kaddish on page two sixty two. Yit Kadahan, we hit Kadah Magala, Magala, Uvis Mahan Karib, Vehimeru, Amen. Yeshvela, Mivarach, Alam, Lane, Maya, Yitzvarach, Yitvarach, Vishavach, it Please rise for the Baruch Hu on page 264. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
Adonai, your majesty, is proclaimed by the marvels of earth and sky. Sun, moon, and stars testify to your power and wisdom. Day follows day in endless succession, and the years vanish, but your sovereignty endures. Though all things pass, let not your glory depart from us. Help us to become co-workers with you and endow our fleeting days with abiding worth. Baruch Ata Adonai, Amariv Aravim. Haftar is on page 268. <laughs> Asher anochi mitzavecha hayom halavavecha v'shin anatam lavanecha v'di baratavam v'shiv dekha bevetecha v'lech dekha v'aderech v'shoch mecha v'kumecha 
Ukshartam lehot ha yedecha, ve ha yunet ha dafot ben necha. Ukhtavtam al mezuzot betecha, hu vishalecha. Leman tiskeru vahasitem kol mitzvotai, vitem kedoshim lelechem. Ani Adonai Elohechem Asher hotzeti etchem Meretz mitzurayim Lehihod lachem Lelohim Ani Adonai Elohechem We read at the bottom of page 268 together. You shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Take to heart these instructions with which I charge you this day. Impress them upon your children. Recite them when you stay at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you get up. Bind them as a sign on your hand and let them serve as a symbol on your forehead. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Thus you shall remember to observe all my commandments and to be holy to your God. I am Adonai, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am Adonai, your God. Adonai Elohim Emet. On page 269, we read responsively, We worship the power that unites the universe, a promise of harmony for all. Before our eyes, there is a vision of perfection, order, and goodness. When will redemption come? Long ago, we escaped the tyranny of Egypt. Our people saw the power of the Most High. Give us a place to rest, O God. Shelter us in the long, soft evening shadows of your truth. You are true protection and safety. In your presence, we find love and acceptance. Watch over us as we go forth. Prepare for us as we return. Spread over us your shelter of peace over all we love, over our Jerusalem and yours. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hapure Sukkot Shalom Aleinu, Ve'al Kol Amo Yisrael, Al Yerushalayim. Sorry, we have the intro again. Israel, oh, 
for the tefila. <laughs> Elohe Sara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel Behalea, Ahel Hagadol Hagibor Vihanor, El Elion, Gomer Chasadim Zovim, Vekone Hakol, Vezocher Chaste Havot Vihimahot. Ulmevi <laughs> Mikhail Chaim Bechesed, Mikhail Hakol Berachamim Rabim, Sohamech Noflim Berafeholim, Umati Asurim, Um Kaim Hemunato, Lishene Afar. Mi kamo khabar gevurot u mi domelach melech memit u mkhaye u mat mi akheshua venehmanat al khayot akol baruch atarnai mi khaye akol Ata kadosh vishim ha kadosh u kedoshim bechol yom yahalalu chasela baruch ata hadonai ha'el ha kadosh. Please be seated. On two seventy eight, we read together. Our God and God of our ancestors, be pleased with our rest. Sanctify us with your mitzvot and grant us a share in your Torah. Satisfy us with your goodness and gladden us with your salvation. Purify our hearts to serve you in truth. In your gracious love, Adonai our God, grant as our heritage your holy Shabbat that Israel who sanctifies your name 
may rest on it. Praise to you, Adonai, who sanctifies Shabbat. Baruch Ata Adonai, Mikadesh HaShabbat. On page 281, for the good in us which calls us to a better life, we give thanks. For the strength to improve the world with our hearts and our hands, we offer praise. For the desire in us which leads us to work for peace, we are grateful. For life and nature, harmony and beauty, for the hope of tomorrow, all praise to the source of being. For all of these things, O Sovereign, let your name be forever praised and blessed. Our God, our Redeemer and Helper, let all who live affirm you and praise your name in truth. Blessed are you, Adonai. Your name is goodness, and you are worthy of thanksgiving. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hatov Shimcha Ulacha Ne'eh Lahodot.
together at the bottom of page 282. Grant us peace, your most precious gift, O eternal source of peace, and give us the will to proclaim its message to all the peoples of the earth. Bless our country as a safeguard of peace, its advocate among nations. May contentment reign within our borders, health and happiness within our homes. Strengthen the bonds of friendship and fellowship among all the inhabitants of our world, plant virtue in every soul, and may the love of your name hallow every home and every heart. Praised are you, Adonai, who blesses your people with peace. Baruch Ata Adonai, Amvarech et Amo Yisrael, Ba Shalom. We're at a time um, when we want to think about all of those who are in need of healing, body or mind or spirit. And if you have a name that you'd like to add, I would add Dr. Roland Loden, Eloise Rapino, and Joel Leviton. Please feel free to say your names now. Dave Salzman, Kinsey Pigman. We'll sing our prayer for healing on page 371, the Misha Berach. Take a moment for silent reflection.
This congregation sings. Literally, we sing. In most services, there are many places where the members of the congregation sing. Guests often remark on that, whether it's a traditional setting for a prayer, one which may not be traditional, but that we have come to really like, or one that's rather new, we sing. In the Torah portion for this week, Hazanu, which is Deuteronomy 32, there is a song by a very unexpected singer. That would be Moses. In this, the second to the last portion of the year, Moses takes the opportunity to offer his final thoughts to the people of Israel before he ascends Mount Nebo to see the promised land which he will not be able to enter. Hazanu means listen. It has the same root word as ear through which we hear. But we can't just hear. We must listen and internalize what the words mean. Moses begins his songs with the word, give ear, O heavens, let me speak. Let the heavens and earth hear the words I utter. Of course, by earth, he means the people before him. He isn't speaking to the Exodus generation, most of whom at this point are already dead, but to those who were the new generation about to enter the promised land. He refers back to the beginning of the journey, the beginning of the covenant between God and the people. As stated in Genesis 12, the command begins with lech lecha, go forth to a land which I will show you. I will make of you a great nation. I will bless you. I will make your name great. Simchat Chayim, the 
Moses' song continues with a recap of the Hebrew people's experiences since they began their journey. He talks of the positive experiences and when the people fell short. It has a somewhat dark tone when recounting those shortcomings. It recounts choices made and those which probably should have been. Through it all, when vengeance was a real possibility, God rejects retribution and offers love and support. According to Rabbi Max Chaikin in Chazanu, quote, the people are reminded to keep the commandments given in the Torah because Israel made a covenant with the divine, unquote. They and we are reminded to be accountable for choices that are made. It seems to me that Moses is saying, as any teacher would, hear the words I speak, but concentrate and actually listen to what those words mean, especially what they mean to you. It's a recognition of God's sovereignty in this covenant. Be grateful. That thought has led me to think of a part of the tefillah we recite with some form in each service. That is modim. We read part of it just, we read part of it just a bit ago as part of the Amidah. But as in the case of many services on a Friday night, we don't read or recite or sing absolutely everything. Now, however, I'll ask you to turn in your prayer book to page 257 to take a closer look at the concepts in Modim. For the expanding grandeur of creation, worlds known and unknown, galaxies beyond galaxies filling us with awe and challenging our imaginations, Modim Anak Nulach. Now, using the James Webb Telescope, those worlds unknown, galaxies beyond galaxies, are becoming more known. The pictures released so far support the grandeur of creation and are truly awe-inspiring. For this fragile planet, Earth, its times and tides, in sunsets and seasons, modim anak nulach. Witnessing a magnificent sunset surely moves us to give thanks. For the joy of human life, its wonders and surprises, its hopes and achievements, modim anak nulach. Just listen to the giggle of a baby. For human community, our common past and future hope, our oneness transcending all separation, our capacity to work for peace and justice in the midst of hostility and oppression, modim anak nulach. We are the people of the covenant. We must work to achieve these goals. For high hopes and noble causes, for faith without fanaticism, for understanding of views not shared, Modim Anak Nulach. Hazanu, hear and listen to one another. For all who have labored and suffered for a fairer world, who have lived so that others may live in dignity and freedom, Modim Anak Nulach. And to those in our congregation and our community who work to achieve these goals, we appreciate you. 
for human liberties and sacred rights, for opportunities to change and grow, to affirm and choose, modim anak nu lach. At this, the beginning of the new year, we surely strive for all of these things. We pray that we may live not by our fears, but by our hopes, not by our words, but by our deeds. Blessed are you, Adonai. Your name is goodness, and you are worthy of thanksgiving. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hatov Shimcha Ulacha Ne'e Lehadot. congregation that sings. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. I'd like to call on Gail Miro, representing the Board of Trustees, for some announcements. In case you haven't noticed, the table for the high holiday food drive is up and outside the front office. Please feel free to drop off your items 
any time during the week or before services. Monday, October 10th at 10.30 a.m., Sukkot morning service with Rabbi Jamie Gibson. On Friday, October 14th at 5.15, consecration ceremony followed by Shabbat service at 6 p.m. Sunday, October 16th, Simha Torah service followed by brisket and chicken dinner. Reservations are required. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Please rise for the Elenu on page 586. Um, at this time, it's time for Kaddish. I'd like to read for you something from Rabbi Naomi Levy. Death cannot sever our connection to those we have lost. The soul is eternal and can never be extinguished. But not only the soul survives the grave. The bonds of love are stronger than death. The lessons that our loved ones taught us, their goodness, their deeds, their wisdom will remain with us always. They have left a permanent imprint upon our souls that can never be erased. They continue to guide us wherever we go. This week, we remember those whose death has recently claimed Janice Edelstein and Janice Greenweaver. We also add this week Donald Jonathan Adler, Lena Cohn Baim, Amelia Britz, Donald Chabon, Selma M. Champion, William Copeland, Edward N. Davis, Jerome M. Friedlander, Ann Goldstein, Morris Greenberg. James Jacoby, Charlotte Kalnitz, Dr. Samuel Carr, Ilana Kennel, Alexander W. Klein, Max Kutash, Minnie Fain Kutash, Doris Landfather, Helen Strickler Levitt, Marjorie Lieber, Stuart Luther, Lonnie Lee Meredith, Jason Paul Minor, 
Louis Neesom, Donald Pack, Eugene Scherzinger, Dr. Myers Seligman, Samuel Schinbach, Abraham A. Sugarman, Mabel Silverman, Dr. Benjamin Smilak, Ben J. Solomon, Eva M. Tobias, William Truehaft, Dorothy Zimmerman. Please rise for the Kaddish, which you will find on a page I can't find. Ah, on page 598. Yitkadal, the Yitkada Shemei Rabbah. Elma divrak divukte viam lich malchute. Chaye chon viam echon. Ukaye de kol be Yisrael. Ba'agalav uzman karim v'imru amen. Yehe shme raba mivarak le'olam ume omea. Yit barak v'yishtabak. Yit bar v'yit roman v'yit nase. Yit hadar v'yit halev v'yit halal. Yisrael. <laughs> Imru, Amen. The source of peace, send peace to all who mourn and comfort to all of those who are in need of healing. Let the rain come and wash away the ancient grudges, the bitter hatreds held and nurtured over generations. Let the rain wash away the memory of the hurt, the neglect. Then let the sun come out and fill the sky with rainbows. Let the warmth of the sun heal us wherever we are broken. Let it burn away the fog so that we can clearly see each other, so that we can see beyond labels, beyond accents, gender, or skin color. Let the warmth and brightness of the sun melt our selfishness so that we can share the joys and feel the sorrows of our neighbors. And let the light of the sun be so strong that we will see all people as our neighbors. Let the earth, nourished by rain, bring forth flowers to surround us with beauty. And let the mountains teach our hearts to reach upward to heaven. Amen. Amen. Our closing song is? Oh, it's Yain Kelahenu. OK. 626. Shabbat shalom. Please meet, please meet us in the hallway for Kiddush. <laughs>